Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today. I am going to show you my personal favorite hooks, my go-to hooks from my gigantic collection. These are the ones that I most often seem to grab. Uh, not that I don't love my other hooks, but these are the ones that I seem to always have very nearby. They're always close. So I thought I would show you what all of my favorites are in case you wanted to toss them on your wish list or ask someone to put them in your stocking or buy yourself a nice little fun little treat. So let's get started on this. I wrote myself a little cheat sheet on here because I had to check a couple of these prices out that I haven't seen. All of this stuff can be found on Amazon so it's easy for people like me that live in the middle of nowhere. I don't have the time or patience for driving all the way into town and going to 15 different stores just to try to find something that's probably not in stock anyway. So we're going to get started. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks. And this is one of my favorite guys in the world. I love this little travel set. So this is an Augsen. A-U-G-S-U-N. A-U-G-S-U-N. And it's just a little tiny travel box. I love this. It has all of these beautiful little color coded, and these are bamboo. They have the millimeters is actually etched right into the bamboo, so it's not going to wear off. Has a nice flat spot. They're pretty flat. And we get nine hooks and this awesome little travel box that I put into. I throw this in my purse all the time. Oh, and I'm going to drop them. Can you just imagine that this set of nine hooks with a little travel box, $9. Nine dollars, and I go to these all the time. I misplaced my four for a couple of days, and I was very sad. So I went and found it. It was in a project, so now everything stays in its little box. And for extra fun, there's a little bit of extra room. Throw in a couple of stitch markers and a tiny scissors, and you're on your way. So I thought I would share this. This is $9 for a nine piece set with the carry box and they're very compact. Go right into your bag. One of my favorites. Next of my favorites, this is the my red set. This is a K-Tech set. K-A-T-E. K-Tech. And again, you can get these on Amazon. Get all these and they just have a wonderful grip. Nice rubber grip. They're all totally red, which I think is really pretty. The sizes are right stamped right on here. I have not used these enough to wear anything off yet, so I guess that's good because I have used several of these quite a few times. But as you can see, all of them still four and a half millimeter. Says it very clearly. Nothing seems to be wearing off. It's nine piece set. Twelve dollars. Barely over a dollar a piece for really nice hooks. I haven't had any trouble with any snagging. It's very smooth metal. It was doesn't have any blemishes. And they also come in black with a gold with the gold tips. Exactly the same hooks, just different color, but I really love these red ones. Doesn't have to be expensive to be good. Excellent, very giftable. Your crocheter would absolutely love to have that. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. Now we'll get on to my singleton hooks. These are my favorite singletons. These are all divot shilps. I have a bunch, but these are my three favorite ones. This is a four millimeter right here. Four millimeter and it's purple heart. You can see it's purple. Just a, has a tinge of purple. It's a real wood. It's a real tree. It grows purple for reals. Love this hook nice and sturdy wood. This one is a five and a half. This is my four millimeter. This is my five and a half. That's my go-to. This is teak. I love this hook. Teak is awesome. They make boats out of teak. You know nothing's gonna happen to this guy. He's just beautiful and you can see how the swirlies of the wood. Love it. And this is my always go-to for my six. I did wear off him a little bit on his six which makes me sad. These ones have not worn at all. It's probably because of where it got placed. 
because this one has a flat spot for my thumb. This is a six millimeter. It is my absolute favorite six millimeter hook. This is the one I almost always use for a six. And the fun part about this is that these are between eight and eleven dollars each, eight and twelve dollars. I think this one was eight, I think this one was ten, and I think the teak was the most expensive. But for one hook that you really love and a size that you use all the time, that's a nice little treat. Between eight and twelve dollars. I love them and they are really, really are my go-to's. You've probably seen them often. Now I have my other two singletons that come in their own little box, but these are my two favorite furls. There's my six millimeter, this is my fancy six millimeter. This is a Taurus and it is very, very smooth uh, resin. And the Taurus, it's all purple and swirly like galaxy. And I'm a Taurus, so Derek got me a six millimeter Taurus. So I thought that was fun. And here's my favorite four. This is Ebony. It is a beauty. Absolutely gorgeous. You know everybody's seen this before. If you've watched any of my tiny things, you've seen that one before. And again, furls are a little bit more. My Ebony one was $25 and the Taurus was 26. Price point is a little bit higher for one single hook, but if there's a hook size that you use all the time, like you always use your five, get yourself a really nice five. You'll be so happy. Like I have a whole bunch of fours that I love because I use four a lot. So there is my two favorite furls. Next in line, these are my Knit Picks and these are in Radiant. They have some that are green. I think those are called Caspian. I don't have the green one yet. Hmm, seems kind of weird, but I don't have one. And there's eight hooks in here from a three and a half all the way up to a six and a half. And you see all these great colors? It's got orange, red, two shades of purple and yellow, and they're just all swirled together. And then there's intricate down here, there's carved down here, and these are just perfect. There's not one blemish on all of this. These are wood, but there are absolutely no places where you're going to come up with snags. And it has a little flat spot for my thumb, which is one of my favorite things. The only bummer is they do not have the sizing written on, carved in here, or stamped on it in any way. So you probably just want to keep them in the pouch forever because it is labeled right here. So that's a bummer. It comes with the box, but it doesn't have everything stamped on it. So you've got brownie points and then they lost the brownie points. So there you go. And of course my Prims, shocker. Did anybody think that Prims weren't going to be on this list? These are my favorite hooks. You see these guys all the time. Don't use the big ones quite as much until it's deep, dark, cold, and I'm starting to work with super bulky. But these are, these are my go-tos. I use these all the time. Three and a half, four, four and a half, a five and a six. The bummer about prims, no five and a half. I don't know why. So people have asked me that before. I can't figure it out. If anybody knows why the prim people will not make me a five and a half, let me know in the comments below, please, because I just don't understand. Very popular size to use, but I can't come up with one. So if I need a five and a half, can't go to my go-tos. And then this set, different color scheme, because those are the, my big hooks. Seven millimeter, eight millimeter, nine, a 10 and a 12. So you really have just about everything that you need except a five and a half. These are $35 a piece. Five hooks, $35. So they're getting up there. There's a $7 a hook. But for something that I use all the time, I think it's well worth it. You will love your prims. Get some prims. You will love them. This is my Knitter's Pride Zing. Knitter's Pride, everything they make is fantastic. These are my Zings. I love these hooks. I wish I had had these years ago. These are probably inching up on being my favorite hooks. They have very smooth right here, all the same size. They don't have a huge grip on them, but they're really comfortable. Right here, there's a nice little flat spot for my thumb. And everything is in raised letters and numbers, right? You can hear it right on my hook. Goes from a 2.75 up to a 6. So we have 275, a 325, 3.5. 375, 4, 4 and a half, my 5 that I use a lot, 5 and a half and a 6, and this beautiful little case, they just zip in like that, pop right into their little holding place, and this is actually a really sturdy little container with a really nice zipper, very compact, very portable, toss it in your purse or in your bag if you're going on a trip, you're riding in the car or in an airplane, 
you have almost everything you need here. Just add yarn. And this case is, it's like a linen. It's really, really, really a nice set. The crocheters in your life would definitely love this set. There's nine pieces in here and this is between $45 and $50. So we're going five, a little bit over $5 a piece for really great hooks and it's Knitter's Pride. Knitter's Pride makes everything wonderful. I haven't found any of their products to be something that I don't love. So very giftable. You will love your zings. For my favorite Tunisian hooks, and yes I will be showing you some Tunisian things other than interlock here in the near future. Just haven't gotten to it. Oh and see two of them are <laughs> two of them are missing because they are still in projects. Gorgeous case. Knitter's Pride Ginger Tunisian in a beautiful leather case. These are just amazing. Wooden hooks. And of course Knitter's Pride. They're perfect. There's no snagging whatsoever. And this is nice metal down here. The bummer is that they just said look this one says just a J10. So this is a J hook. I go by millimeters and it doesn't have it written down here so I wrote myself a cheat sheet. I can kind of eyeball it but you don't want to grab the wrong one accidentally. And this one was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 piece set plus a matching pen which I thought was really cute. It matches it exactly. And all of the goodies, all the goodies that you need to make big afghans and everything. And all of the pieces are metal and they screw together very nicely. There's no snapping, nothing. I have not had any problem with any of these. They're just, just nice. They're high quality, no snagging, metal connections, which I think is, if you don't have metal connections, why bother making a Tunisian hook if you're not going to have, have a metal connection? plastic just won't last, I don't think. fun thing about these is that you can use them for anything. You don't have to be doing a Tunisian project to use Tunisian hooks. They're awesome. No snagging and they're beautiful. This set for the 12 pieces plus a pen plus all of the Tunisian goodies will run you about $125. So that one's a little bit more expensive but remember we're going to do the math. 12 hooks, $125. So you know, ten dollars a piece plus a pen and all of the equipment and a beautiful leather case. So it's worth it if you have any interest in moving on into Tunisian someday. This would be like the only set that you would ever need. You can do everything that you want with it. So thought I'd show that one off. He's pretty. And then one last one is my Lika. They're so pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Likas in a nice little leather bag. Has a little pouch right in here for tiny things. Has another pouch right here for tiny things. Very compact, easy to travel with, and you still have all those hooks. These are driftwood. They're in gray. I just love these hooks. I know that people have seen these before. They're kind of gray. They're finished really fun. See how swirly they are. The bummer on this is that it's written right there at the very tip, the sizing, and it's super tiny. It is on the hook so it does get its brownie points. I just wish it was a little bit bigger for my eyes. And a great case. So again, you can take this little guy and toss him in your bag and go on a road trip or on an airplane. Again, you have almost everything that you need. Just add yarn. So there are my favorites, folks. I thought I would share in case you were wondering what you should put on your wish list. I have several wish lists out but now I'm telling you my personal favorites. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.